G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, in this episode we're going to look at chucking a um, Subaru STI diff centre, or the ins insides out of a diff centre, in the R180, that's an R180 that is in this. Uh, at the moment it's really struggling with traction, uh, especially when you turn and add some power, it just spin fries the inside wheel. So let's look at fixing that today. Cheers. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Um, we've got plenty more videos coming. Searching eBay uh, one night, um, and pop, what popped up was a R180 diff center um, out of a Subaru, a 2004 Subaru. So it's a Torsen style um, diff center, and what we'll be doing today is attempting to put it inside a R180 out of a Datsun. It's a K-stamped um, R180, so they're I think slightly newer and larger casing. So let's give it a crack. So these side bearings on the diff centre are nearly impossible to get off um, intact. I've seen people just whiz them off on, on YouTube with some special tools. Um, but at home I just had no luck. So I tried like a bearing, a cheap bearing puller like that. Just a complete waste of time. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this uh, bearing off carefully. Um, I did the other side already, so we'll go ahead and cut this one off as well. So once you take the cage off, um, you're left with this, and then you've just got to um, slice very carefully. Um, as close to the as close to the the um, inside as you can, and it should just come apart. So we'll give that a shot. So we've simply made a, a cut through the inner race, um, and then. Now I just I don't know if you saw it on the video, but I just hit it with a with a screwdriver or a cold chisel if you got one, um, and then um, this will just come off now. Now that it's cracked um, through. It's hard to do one-handed, but so it's like that. So you can see. Just a little crack on the inside of that, and that's come off. So now we can go ahead and get the new ones uh, put on. So now we have the diffs like this. Um, I really have to get my bearings. Oh, here they are. Uh, we've got two new bearings um, on each side. That's the tote, that's the part number for them. So we'll whack these ones on. Side of the bearing here. And then what I've got is a piece of pipe that's the right diameter. And I'll then hit on. Yeah, that's 
sí. That's one side on. Uh, so it's important that these um, side covers go on the right way around. So what I've done is I've put a little punch up here on the um, on the side which has the crown wheel. Um, so we'll know which way around to put it back in. So a couple of the differences between the Subaru Center and the um, Datsun Center, Nissan Center. Um, one is that this uh, center uses uh, 11 mil bolts, and I've never really had anything to do with 11 mil bolts before. Um, so if you use the Nissan bolts, you can see you've got a mil of um, of slip. So what I've had to do is um, I've made up um, spaces that go in there, and uh, you can see them in those ones um, that take up that mil of space, and that's tight. Um, so that's the first point. I was going to drill out the crown, but I think that's impossible and 11 mil taps are hard to come by and that's super hard steel and blah blah blah. So I gave up on that. Um, the other pr problem is, is actually the thickness um, of this flange here. You can see um, it's a lot thicker. So these bolts um, don't have actually enough bite into the into the um, crown. So um, what you can do is you can you can get um, a bunch of Nissan bolts, and I'll put the that's the part number, but I'll put it in in the description for you. Um, and you get those bolts, and those bolts are actually a bit longer. Hang on, I'll get one out. So as you can see, that's the difference between the the two bolts, and there's just that little bit of extra length um, to the bolts um, which allows it to to protrude more and get into the ring gear properly like that um, so yeah I'll go and tap the last of these um, spaces in and then uh, we can get to mounting the ring gear so these sleeves are actually a very tight fit um, and I can you just have to use a bit of get them in like that um, and then actually um, uh, yeah see it's very snug so I just I'll just get a um, a file and just file that one out a bit so that sits in properly so this is what it looks like with the bolts done um, I use the Datsun retainers here and I'll fold them over once they're done up with the air rattle gun um, yeah the other thing is um, you can actually uh, work out the ratio by counting the number of teeth on this crown um, and then the number of teeth on the pinion and you divide this by the number of teeth on the pinion um, who said differential calculus um, wasn't going to be useful uh, also, if you're not good at maths, or you didn't do Year 11 Differential Calculus, um, it is written up on here. Uh, um, there it's written, I think, 31 times 11. So this is a 3.54 ratio div. So I finally got the centre in the diff. Um, it was a bit of a wrestle. Uh, I had to grind a bit off this side and a bit off that side um, to allow it to go in. Uh, so now I've got it loosely bolted up but now I'm going to um, um, check the wear pattern on the gears. So I'll run you through that. So a little while ago I went to my local hardware store. I was doing another diff. I went to my local hardware store and um, came up with this tin you know, that was on special of uh, yellow oil based paint so this is what I use for checking the mesh of the gears um, just need a little bit of the paint and gears like this And then we'll 
just spinning. We're spinning the crown wheel through the pinion. Then you can see there the wear marks on the on the um, pinion. Um, and you're just looking for coverage. You want it to be at least half of the half of the gear um, to be meshing with the with the pinion, which it looks like it is on both cases. Looks pretty good. So we're going to put in uh, new seals on the side as well, so uh, that's a fun number, and again I'll put it in the description. Um, I guess I'll show you how that is, how to do that, that's pretty easy. So these are the custom um, stub axles that you need that have different splines um, for the Subaru diff. Um, you take these these bits out of your existing Datsun um, adapters and put them in here. A bit of a pain to do. Um, and then it just slots in there and clips into the circlip. I found this the easiest way to get the studs um, back into the flange. Um, so I've just got a socket um, to protect it and then I just squeeze it in a vise like that. So this is it done now with the axles put in. Um, uh, I've sealed up the back case, put a new vent on. Um, yeah, and it's ready to go back in the car. So that's the diff centre installed back in. Uh, much easier to put back in than remove because I learnt all the fiddly problems that we had. Um, join us next episode where I take it for a bit of a run and we'll uh, see what this, how this diff performs. Remember, like and subscribe. Cheers. Oh, oh, oh.